This goes out to Suge, who I've watched lots of his videos. And for over two years now, maybe three years, every time I set up or pack camp, I always hear Suge saying, on the knot, not on the toggle, on the knot, not on the toggle. How hikers eat, I'm going to try to do this with one hand, how hikers eat who have overslept. This is really a two-hand operation. came from down there and up these rocks which is about mm, 12 feet or so and then up another six feet over to this sketchy cable system This is going to be my journal for day two. Um, looking over the official 
through hiker guy. The camp that I was at on day one was at 12.03 trail miles. And yesterday my GPS on my Garmin 62SC and then plus my watch both said I did around 16 miles. Either way, I reset uh, everything and for the first mile or two today, I literally held this and validated each thing down through here, which made it easier to know where I was at, um, but I did not get as many trail miles today. Um, so right now, I am at trail mile in the book. Give me just a minute to find it. Nineteen point seven six, which means that I did uh, seven point seven three today. Uh, my legs are really sore. I tried to eat better, and. Uh, still having issues with shortages of water. Um, the, the areas that are marked as water sources, um, most of them are dried up. And it's, it's kind of aggravating. Matter of fact, the way that I found this site was that the site before that I was going to camp at, the water was really brackish. There was water there is about an inch deep and I put some in my one liter smart water bottle and it literally smelled like sewage water. It was nasty. Uh, so I dumped it out and come a little ways farther to here. Uh, maybe a mile, mile and a half. So that's the problem I'm running into. Uh, you get a water source and then for the next four or five are bone dry. Um, it makes it really hard. It seems like when I don't need water, there's plenty of water sources. And an example is the Cumberland River uh, isn't listed as a good water source, but I literally run out of water as soon as I went across that OW something bridge. O and W bridge. So just 500 feet down through there, run out of water. I uh, I went maybe another mile and started to get a headache. Uh, well, that's the other thing too. So yesterday the temperatures, my cell phone was showing yesterday 88 degrees, and then today my cell phone was showing a temperature of 86 degrees. Mind you, this is the last week of September when normally it's 70s so uh, I think either tomorrow or Tuesday the temperature is supposed to be closer to normal and that'll help out a lot with the water situation because I won't require as much water so part of the reason of um, the water is I'm consuming more because it's so hot outside so once the weather's cooler, I'll probably consume less. So I now have two liters of filtered water in my bladder and I have, uh, I already cooked dinner, which is sitting here, um, waiting to um, uh, re reconstitute. <laughs> and then I have over there, two more nearly full one liter bottles that still need filtered. So, uh, this is where I'm making camp. Like I said, it's at 19.76 uh, trail miles. 19 point, yeah, 76 trail miles. And uh, try to get to bed early. I don't think I'm gonna do a fire tonight. And uh, hopefully I, when I wake up, my legs are not as sore. So that's all.